Right, so in this video, we are going to uh, show the input to users and let them confirm it. So what I've done is I've created a uh, bot with the start from scratch template in which uh, three items of information are being asked. One is what's your name? Uh, what is the website URL? What is your email address? And uh, the last one is a yes, no, a step type which basically summarizes all the input that the user has given and in case some of the provided information is wrong uh, users can go back to double check it and alter it to make sure that it's correct so to walk all these steps through uh, quickly because it's very easy to do um, is uh, first one is the ready to start uh, question um, and in case yes is answered then by default it goes to uh, what is your name, which is a short uh, text um, step type, and I've left all the other information empty for the demo. Um, the same goes for the website URL, also short text uh, step type, and um, the email address is an email address step type. Now, what we need to do to let CurioBot summarize the input as given here is go to the Advanced tab and make sure that from each of the applicable uh, answers a variable is made. So you click on add new variable and then you give the variable a name which you can be used uh, in a different spot and select what step type it belongs to. So in this case what is your name gets the, na the variable name name. Uh, what is your website URL is called website and what is your email address is called email. Now if you then go to the uh, final um, uh, yes, no uh, question, then you can make sure that the input as given is displayed by adding these um, characters to it. So is this information correct? Name, email, and website. The way it looks is as follows. Give it a quick second. So we say start. Yes, we're ready to go. My name is Guy. Website URL is curiobot.com. And the email address is hello at curiobot.com. Now you see, if the information is correct, that it's visible right here. If I answer no to this step type, then you see that I will go back to the first question where it's still pre-filled and that I've done by applying the logic jump here that when no is answered to the final question it goes back to step two which you'll see here as well and if I click next one then I will also double check the other variables and when this is correct you can say yes and then it's fixed